Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about sensors explicitly from 1.3.3 input devices. The sensor question is a major question in the exam with usually 5 to 7 marks awarded for it. So how to answer a sensor and a microprocessor question? I'll show you the general template and let's solve an example question together. So for the general template, you first identify a suitable sensor. So you, you are determining which sensor is used in the situation. So for example, if you're dealing with concentration of gases, you are using a gas sensor like this. And then the data collected from the sensor is converted from analog data to digital data using analog to digital converter or ADC. That data is sent to the microprocessor, which is the third step. Then the microprocessor compares received value to specific stored value. This means you are determining if input value is within the correct range. Usually the set of standard or the correct range is given in the question in a numerical value. Additionally, the number of values will depend on the number of sensors used. The reason I put an S behind the value in brackets. And the next step is if variable value is out of range, a specific action is done. Variable here means the type of type the sensor is measuring, like pressure, for instance. The signal is sent to actuator to do action, but you have to bear in mind signaling actuator is only for locomotive machines that have moving parts like a water sprayer. So if the output is done in a monitor, an actuator would not be used. So signaling actuator would be unnecessary. On the other hand, if variable value is within the range, no action will be taken. And finally, this process is repeated, and this is the general template for answering a sensor and a microprocessor question. So let's solve one sensor question together from the exam. So I'll read the question. A sensor and a microprocessor are used to monitor the pH of the cleaning products. The system records each reading that is taken. If the reading is greater than 7, a warning message is displayed on the monitor. So explain how the sensor and microprocessor are used in the system. So you first identify which sensor is used, so in this case, pH sensor would be suitable for measuring pH. So the data from the pH sensor will be converted from analog to digital data using analog to digital converter, then it will be sent to the microprocessor. Then the microprocessor compares the received pH value with the stored pH value of 7 given in the question. If received value is bigger than 7, meaning it is out of range, warning message will be displayed in the monitor. As you see, no actuator will be used since it is a computer, not a locomotive machine that has moving parts. If received value is smaller than 7, meaning within the range, no action will happen. And finally, this process will be continuous. So you will get the full marks for answering according to the template. Just one tip is, if there are more than one sensors, you have to also bear in mind that even if one value of sensor is within the range, the other may be outside, outside the range. And most importantly, you have to consider the order of which sensor should be processed first. So that's it for all the sensor question. And I hope this video helped you a lot. And if you think so, please subscribe and press like.